Hey guys, it's Alicia from For the Love of Books and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video. I mean, sort of, kind of, these videos are fun for you. Today I'm actually going to be doing my November TBR. I'm not normally one who sets myself a certain book that I want to read or have to read unless I'm doing a review, but I decided that this month I wanted to change things up because there are a couple books that I actually do want to get to this month. So I thought that I would set myself a TBR pile that I want to get to, I want to read this month. And if I don't get to one or two, I'm okay with that. I do want to try to get to as many as possible though. So today's video I'm going to show you which books I am wanting to get through for the month of November. As much as I wanted to step out of my historical comfort zone, I still ended up staying quite a bit in it. I just because that is a lot that I own and it's November so it's kind of fallish and as I mentioned in a couple videos ago I just feel like fall is definitely a historical kind of month that's when I grab my historical fiction books even though I grab them all year round something about fall just screams historical to me so for the first book that I want to read this month I'm going to be, I'm actually in the middle of reading An Inconvenient Beauty by Christy Ann Hunter. I am reading this for a book club, so that is why I grabbed book four out of the series. It was a little awkward. It's kind of rough for me to read them out of order, but I did, I was not aware that this was actually a series until I went to pick up this book and realized that it's from the Hawthorne house. So I had to, of course, pick up all the other books, which they are in my October haul. The link to that video will be in the description below. But this is following uh, Griffith or the Duke of Riverton and uh, Isabella Breckenridge, I believe. Is that how you say your last name? Yeah, so it's going to follow them. And the It's book four in the final book in the Hawthorne House series. So I'm excited to finish this one and then of course pick up the read the rest of the books and maybe even reread this one at a later date so that I get the whole picture. So that is the first book that I want to read this month. Next book that I want to read this month is Bees in the Butterfly Garden. I got this book from Tyndall Rewards and it looks so cute. Um it is following Meg Davenport and Ian McGuire. And I guess her dad is a thief. He's a notorious thief or something like that. Yeah, he's a talented thief. And she, I think along, she wants to continue on with the business. And the um, Ian doesn't want her to or something along those lines. I don't know much about it. All I know is the synopsis. But I, it just looks super, super cute. And I really, really, really want to read it for the month of November. So this is book two. Book three actually came out last year and I'm surprised it's taking me so long to get to it just because of my pure love for this author. And book three is actually going to be No Other Will Do by Miss Karen Whitmire. I actually have book two. This is book one of the series and the novella will come out in print shortly, I believe. So I want to get to the first book and second book before the novella comes out so I can finish off the series. I don't know why it's taking me so long. I'm kind of upset with myself just because I've read all of her books up until this one, but it's just taking me forever to get to it. But I do want to get to it this month, and this is following Miss Emma Chandler and Malachi Shaw. It is the Ladies of Harper Station series, and I'm very, very excited to get to this book this month. Book number four is actually still along the lines of the historical fiction, but I decided to grab a mystery as well. So with that, I grabbed Rules of Murder by Juliana Deering, which is the first book in the Drew Fathering Mysteries. And this book just screams fall, cozy, mystery, yay, read. I am really, really excited. This series follows Drew Fathering and Miss Madeline Parker, who is an American, and Drew is a young British gentleman. And I am so excited to read the series. I do have one through five, 
book six came out this month. I hope, I am hoping to get my hands on that one at some point. But until then, I do have one through five to hold me over. So I'm very excited to pick up number one this month and start a new fun, cozy fall mystery. Next book is a love-inspired historical, and if you know me, you know that I love love-inspired books. I wanted to read a Thanksgiving-themed book this month leading up to Thanksgiving. I'm hoping to maybe start my own new tradition to read a Thanksgiving-themed book the week before Thanksgiving or even a couple days before and finishing the book on Thanksgiving morning right before I watched the Macy Thanksgiving Day Parade, which is a tradition in our house. Love it. But I finally found one. I couldn't find one last year. I was looking, I was scanning my books as I was rearranging my bookshelves last night, a favorite pastime of mine. And I came across this one, which is Once Upon a Thanksgiving. It is two short stories written by two different authors to make one complete book. And this one is written by Linda Ford and Winnie Griggs. And I love Winnie Griggs. She is a favorite author of mine in the Love Inspired. Uh, Linda Ford, I do have quite a few of her books, but they're kind of hard for me to get into. But I'm thinking because it is a short story that it should be, it should be relatively easy for me to finish. And I'm very, very excited to read this one on the week or the couple days because it doesn't take me long to read these. Uh, leading up to Thanksgiving and hopefully finishing on Thanksgiving morning. So Once Upon a Thanksgiving is my next book. The last book that I am wanting and trying to push myself for this month is actually not historical fiction, but it, I did go ahead and pick a contemporary fiction, which kind of feels a little more like summer, but I decided that I couldn't wait to read this book, and that is The Secret Life of Sarah Hollenbeck. I have heard wonderful things about this book. I think it's just the idea is so cute. The cover is so cute. So I decided that I'm going to try and read this one this month. If I don't get to it, that is okay with me. I won't be too upset with myself. I am going to be focusing on my other books first, but I do want to try to get to this one. It's not that big of a book, so I might be able to blow through this one pretty quickly. But this is the contemporary book that I want to get through this month. That is it. I have, I told myself that I want to read six books this month. And we'll see how it goes. I'm not one to really stick to a reading schedule. Unless I have a review to write. A book for review or a book for a book club. But I have told myself that I want to read at least these books this month. So I'm going to see how like a TBR pile because I am a mood reader so we'll see how it goes I am hoping at the end of November when we do our November wrap-up that you will see these six books and maybe even a couple more that won't that weren't on my TBR we'll see how it goes and how much reading I can get done this month so those were my books that's my hope for the month I hope you guys enjoyed go ahead and like comment and subscribe let me know if you've read any of these books yet and what you guys think of them. Go ahead and check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com. Check out my bookstagram for the love of Christian fiction. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!